guys, my name is Bharat and in this video we're going to talk about what are the top 5 money mistakes that you can make when you're coming to Germany in 2022. The first one which is going to be mostly applicable for people who are working in Germany as professionals or already have some kind of decent income with their businesses. Many people tend to go towards the option of getting a Bausch-Bafetrag. What is a Bausch-Bafetrag? Bausch-Bafetrag is essentially a contract that you make with one of your Home banks, they are generally having some kind of partnership with other Bosch power providers, for example, Schwebischal. So in these kind of scenarios, what they are going to do is they're going to say, okay, you sign a contract with us for 150,000 euros, 200,000 euros, 300,000 euros, whatever. And every single month, you pay a specific amount into the Bosch power contract. And once you have saved half of that amount, let's say you have signed the contract for 300,000. So if you have saved 150,000 euros, after that, for the rest of the amount, we are able to give you a loan at a fixed interest rate. That means even if the interest rates get higher in the future, it is not going to be a problem for you because you have already locked down the lower interest rate. The problem with this kind of contract are actually many. And the thing is, whenever you go to any kind of Beratungsgespräch or consultation um, to these people, they will never tell you these things. The first biggest problem that you have to know about Bosch Vaftrag is essentially when you are signing a contract, the 1% of that entire amount is going to be the fee for signing the contract, even if they never really tell you that right away. So the first payments that you make are going to be in order to cover the amount of this contract. For example, you have 100,000 euros. 1% 1 of that is going to be 1,000 euros. So the first 1,000 euros or something are going to go there. We remember at our time it used to be actually even more. So we ended up putting a lot more money inside than what we got out in the end. Second thing, so you are not able to use this money if you're buying any kind of property outside Germany. So then again, you will have to like, you know, ask for the money. And also the money comes after a very long time. We remember that we had to wait for almost six months to receive our own money that we put inside this contract. So the deal you have for buying the house is right now at this moment, but the money you will get in six months, which is so unbearably stupid. Like I really, really recommend that you do not go for any kind of Bosch profit drug because even though it might sound very nice on the face, but it's actually not a good idea. You would be better off if you're making an emergency fund for yourself. You're saving money to the side. Yes, I understand the entire story with inflation, but at least you're going to be losing the money to inflation and not essentially like, you know, paying some banks for some kind of unnecessary stuff when you will not even have the access to your own money when you need that money. So it's rather better in the bank accounts. It's rather better invested somewhere in the stock market than actually putting inside here. Another thing that you can do is you can also start investing regularly in the stock market. So for example, the S&P 500 index or the MSCI world. And over the longer run, these markets have generally tend to grow. So you can also keep doing that, especially right now when the prices are so affordable. If you're in Germany, Austria, Spain, Italy and France, you can start investing with scalable capital without any kind of costs whatsoever. And also when you open your depot with them, you will get one free broker once you make your first trade. I have my own portfolio of over 200,000 euros at Scalable Capital. So I've been using this broker for quite a while and I'm completely happy with their services and I can definitely recommend that to you too. You will find my referral link in the description below. Second money mistake that many people make is getting phone contracts. Now when you come to Germany, you will find there are different kind of phone contracts. It is not as easy as it used to be in many of the other countries where you simply order a SIM card or something or you buy a phone or something and that's it, you put them together and you start using it. The thing is, many times here, more marketing is done for phone contracts. That means you get an iPhone or something for a very cheap price, like very cheap starting price. But your EMIs, of course, become much, much higher then. And of course, for many companies, it is very interesting to get you pay to them over a longer duration because they have locked you in as a customer and then also like you know sell you some kind of add-on services and so on. In almost every single case, you would be better off buying a phone separately and getting a cheap SIM card, which you can always change from month to month than getting a long-term contract. Because the problem with these long-term contracts is, for example, you find a better offer at some kind of other provider. 
for example, there are many of these, for example, WinSim, Premium Sim, and I think many others. You will find some of them directly in the description. And also, I've made a free course for people who are arriving in Germany and they want to like learn about these things. It's called Germany Arrival Essentials. This is available on Big Academy. And you can enroll for this course completely without any kind of cost. And all of the links and everything are going to be directly there too. So when you want to change any kind of provider, you're not able to do that because you're locked in with this particular company for two years. This is a big problem because if you find any kind of better deal anywhere else, you are not able to switch. So phone contracts is another thing I would really recommend you to not to use because once you are locked in there, there's essentially no way out. Alina and I, we also had our bitter experience with this because when we were students ourselves, I went to get a phone contract for myself and Alina already had a phone contract. And the person who was selling us the contract said, we are going to quit your old contract, that is Alina's old contract. And we are going to get you a new contract so that it is cheaper for both of you. There was some kind of deal or something. And we're like, okay, I cannot do it. But then what happened was the person essentially left the job or something. We went to the shop over and over again. We went to the Fabroka Central, which is the customer protection center or something. We tried everything possible that we don't pay for these three contracts because he did not quit the old contract. And now we are paying for three phones and it's a lot of money. Essentially, we were paying over 120 euros per month, which is so stupid. And yeah, so this is what happens when you don't you know, know about these things beforehand. And this is the reason I'm saying like instead of falling in these kind of scenarios, just get a prepaid SIM card from Aldi Talk, from WinSIM, Premium SIM, whatever that you're paying every single month and that you can cancel every single month instead of like, you know, getting something locked in for two years. The third money mistake that many people do is getting unnecessary insurances that they don't even need. And the very first one that I can really tell you is like getting your Apple Care or whatever, like, you know, installed or like, um, getting it with your iPhone or with your MacBook or something. I've bought, I think, um, new iPhones two times and never once they have broken down or something and they have fallen multiple number of times, things like that. But essentially like adding the cost of this by thinking that you might need it in case the phone breaks down or something. If you're going for a good phone, the chances that it is going to break down or something happens to it is actually very less. So I personally don't see the sense of like, you know, wasting extra money on these kind of insurances. Also, for example, when you're buying things on Amazon, you will also see that, okay, there's some kind of like extra insurance for an electronic device and that you can take it and it is going to give you the guarantee or something for um, a few months, few years or something. Another problem with that is that when it comes to actually availing that insurance, it is actually painful. It is so painful to get in contact with them and like, you know, get the entire process started that many times people just end up doing it, you know, by some kind of private person and paying that person instead of directly like, you know, talking to the insurance, getting the money out, things like that. So this is the reason I would say most of the insurance that you're looking around, like maybe they are not so beneficial, but some insurances, for example, the private liability insurance, I think that is very interesting for many students as well as people who have, you know, their own households, are having their own apartments and so on. For them, the home contents insurance is also interesting, which is how start for the show. So you can take a look at these few insurances. Again, the links for that is going to be in the free course that I have, the Germany Arrival Essentials. So you can take a look at that. And also you can find it in the description below. Also, if anybody's thinking about, you know, legal insurance, things like that, again, um, I personally don't think that most of you are going to need it. And when you would need it, you are going to again not have a great experience because if you want to see the first-hand experiences of people just take a look at some of the trust pilot reviews or something and you will see like you know what kind of experience people have essentially when they have to like you know contact the lawyer or something it's not really the best so private liability insurance and home contents insurance that makes sense which is the half flesh position and the house not position these two make sense for you but others like they are not really that necessary and again it depends from individual to individual. The fourth money mistake that many people make is getting a Dispo credit. So what is a Dispo credit? Many times what you would see in German bank accounts, you're able to take out more money than you have on your bank account, which is very interesting. So that means you are going to be in minus. That used to happen to us a few times when we were students, when we are okay, like, you know, taking care of uh, some of the things which we can only pay in cash. So when we take out the money and turns out we don't have enough money, all of a sudden we have some kind of minus on the bank account. 
And these dispo uh, sins, which is the dispo interest rates are actually very high. They sometimes can go up to like, you know, 16%, 20% and so on. So you have to make sure that you are not using any kind of money which you do not have. I mean, sounds very logical, but many times you end up taking out more money from your bank account than you actually have. And then the money that you essentially borrowed from the bank on that, you have to pay interest rate. So avoid that, that is not really useful and only spend what you have. If you don't have the money for that and you cannot afford it right now, it can be bought later or maybe you can figure out some other plans to buy that particular thing instead of going into debt over this. The fifth biggest mistake that you can make is paying more for your groceries than you actually need. Now, in Germany, you have a very interesting system of uh, payback cards and that is if you go to supermarkets like Rewe, Real, Penny, the cashier is always going to ask you how many I know payback card. Payback is a way for them to essentially gather data of what kind of things different kind of people are buying, how much do we have to keep in the inventory, how much extra things do we have to supply and so on. So it has a lot of like information which gets collected and as a reward for this, they essentially give you cash back for every single purchase that you're making in these supermarkets. You also have many times different kind of coupon codes and stuff which you can also use with the payback cards. So this essentially increases amount of cash back that you're able to receive, which is very interesting. I've made a video previously about how to use the American Express payback card, the link for which you will find in the description below. So in that, I was able to get up to 16% discount on whatever I was buying in the normal supermarkets just because I was having the American Express payback card. So I was using the payback card, payback code in the end and the American Express uh, card. So that way you're getting double the points with whatever you're purchasing. So take a look at that video. It's very detailed. You will find more uh, interesting ideas there. Also, if you want to apply for that card, you can use the link given below. And with that, you will get a 30 euro sign up bonus, which is again, free money for you. And you don't have to essentially do anything for that. It's completely for free. You don't have any kind of yearly cost, any kind of application cost whatsoever. At the end of the month, whatever you have paid via the credit card, it gets deducted from your current account and you're good to go. So I hope you don't make these five mistakes when you are actually coming to Germany or if you're already living in Germany, that you make sure that any of these like you know money mistakes or something are not happening because Bosch Buffer drug for example I just like hear so many people come to me and say okay like you know thank you for making the video because I've also talked about that previously that I was about to sign it or something and I would have not known about all of the things that you have already told us now so just watch out for these and share this video with a friend who might gain some kind of value from this video I'll see you in the next video bye